Hey guys, three days away from going to the hospital. So I decided I'm gonna pack my hospital bag with you guys and show you exactly everything I'm taking with me. So with my first pregnancy, I went in to get induced. So I don't know how much or how long I was gonna be in the hospital for. So I actually ended up overpacking. I had like six outfits for Serena. I had a custom labor dress, gown, whatever you guys wanna call it. I had the matching robe and swaddle for Serena and myself. I had like three different outfits for myself. I mean, I just overdid it. And honestly, I barely used any of the items that I packed. So this time around, I learned from my mistake. And since I am scheduled in on May 29th, I'm gonna be going in for a scheduled C-section. So I know exactly what to expect. I mean, I'm just gonna go in there 15 minutes, baby's out, I'm probably gonna be in the hospital for about two, three days. So I packed exactly the things that I will need, which I'm gonna show you guys right now. Okay, first thing is first, this is the diaper bag. I did a diaper bag unboxing for you guys a few, actually last week. I washed it, that's why I have it in here. It's a little wrinkly, but it'll go back to its regular shape. First thing is first, the nursing pillow. So this is the nursing pillow that I had with Serena. Serena just had a pink cover, so I switched out the cover to this gray one. This comes in handy big time. So I'm gonna take this with me to the hospital. Now let's go on to personal care stuff so I'm getting a pack of gum and then over here I packed all of my toiletries let's take a look inside okay so I got some hand sanitizer deodorant lotion I try to pack travel size hair tie lip balm, or chapsticks I got whatever travel size or like these little gifts that you guys get for perfume this is from YSL I actually really like the scent I'm not gonna have any makeup on but I do love this I talked about it it's like a toner and a slash cleanser and it does miracles for my skin like it really does clean it out so I'm gonna get that some cotton pads and then I'm just gonna pack some moisturizer I am also grabbing my toothbrush and some toothpaste some hydrogel in case my nipples do get super sore or tender from breastfeeding. Some nipple pads right here. I think that's the appropriate ah! name. It just sounds so weird for me to be like nipple pad. Yeah, why is it called nipple pad? Because I'm gonna be breastfeeding. It is called nipple pad. Why does the public need to know that? Because I'm doing that, what am I gonna pack? Okay guys, the appropriate terminology is nursing pads. I'm sorry, these ain't nipple pads. I mean, you do apply them to that area, but nursing pads to sound a little bit more, you know, ooh. Okay. So, what else do we have packed in the bag? I got a nursing bra, some C-section specific undies, and some disposable underwears. Not gonna show that on camera, but that's getting packed. Serena, are you okay? You're not okay? Okay, I, I'm also packing a laundry, uh, what do you call it? Like a laundry bag. So that way I can throw in all my dirty laundry in here and pack it with me. I got an eye mask. I got some socks that are non-slippery. These were off of Amazon. So I got some jungle print pajamas. These are so comfortable. I got them from Nordstrom. And then I got another nursing gown. It's in gray with a nursing robe. I got this nursing robe and this gown off of Amazon because I was running late and actually I really like them. These are the slippers that I'm going to take with me to the hospital. This is a very comfy, stretchy type of dress that's from the same brand as all the nightgowns that I got off of Amazon. I like the color. I'm just going to pair it with my Dior beige sandals. Baby stuff. So I have a baby hat and then a baby onesie with his initial. This is going to be his going home outfit. This is just another outfit for him to change into the hospital. Just says, welcome to the world with a matching hat. I'm also getting this waffle print swaddle blanket. I want things that are really neutral so I can just put it on his crib. Baby can sit here with his cute little outfit for some hospital photos if I have the energy for them. Obviously, I am going to pack my wallet. I'm not gonna get a camera. I'm just gonna get my iPhone 
and a charger and then a huge water bottle because I don't really like the water that they offer at the hospital. So that's what I'm gonna grab and probably a few snacks for Semi since he's gonna be staying with me at the hospital and we might get hungry at night. How cute you guys, I just got a floral delivery from my friend, she's so sweet. Let me, let's put it together in the vase. is definitely with scissors. So I'm gonna end the vlog right now. My friends are over. Hi, 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 hi. Daughter is totally passed out. We're just gonna have some dinner, chill, and I'll see you guys in a new vlog tomorrow. Bye.